All right, all right. Good morning, fam. Happy Thursday. So it's Thursday today. And I have just checked in with Kim Odo, my coach. And we're about less than eight days out from the show. Yeah, exactly eight days out. So um, weird thing is that Pittsburgh Pro is going to be on the Friday. So we're going on Friday for a bikini. And yeah, so I'm almost peak week tomorrow. I am just cooking my breakfast, just a regular breakfast. I already ate my five Brazilian nuts. I woke up so hungry. So yeah, I was about to say, check in with Kim uh, this morning. I'm at a new low. I definitely felt it. I, when I went to bed yesterday, I was like starving. I was tired. I had a good night of sleep. So when I step on scale today, 126.2. So um, I did have a piece of salmon yesterday with a little bit of white rice. And today we're actually gonna reduce cardio, which we haven't reduced um, yet to 30 minutes instead of uh, 45 incline. And um, I'm most likely gonna rest today, to be honest. I'm gonna probably, you know, do my cardio, maybe like a little shoulder pump, um, but I do have another food bump. So I'm actually having red meat today. I actually craving to, uh, red meat, so red meat is gonna be good. I'm having a piece of filet mignon with uh, sweet potato fries. So today during breakfast, I am gonna upload my last YouTube video with Angela Borges and Bobby Leg Workout. And in the meantime, I am also gonna look for the best sweet potato fries around because I always go to Cheesecake Factory. To be honest, there's most likely 99.99999% that I'm all like, Go again to Cheesecake Factory. Uh, these people have way too much of my money, but it's just a safe spot. I know exactly how I react. My buddy loves it. I never get bloated from anything, and it actually tastes really good. So um, most likely going to go there because they have asparagus, um, and the side salad is really good, and then the sweet potato fries and the filet mignon. And it's just a little patio outside too. So yeah, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that I'm going to go there, but if not, I might just get a filet and make it at home. We'll see. I'll bring you guys along as much as I can today. So yeah, as I was saying, now my coffee is brewing into that little pot that I have right And my veggies, I'm gonna give them a toss. And for spices, I'm going to have that onion salt, a little bit of like garlic sauce, uh, salt, sauce, oh my god, and the corn pepper. Okay, right, so I have my breakfast here, and as I am going to take my first bite... And my first sip of coffee. I figure I would go through um, what I've been taking religiously for all, like almost all of my prep since I'm working with Kim. I've always been not the best at staying consistent with um, vitamins and what's not. Um, with that being said, I have been taking all of this religiously and it's been helping me a lot and I do feel like it changes how I felt how I've been able to just go from prep to prep to prep and uh, I just want to share with you because full transparency if it helps anybody out there then that's uh, always my goal so um I always take them pretty much fasted for all of them except the vitamin c I'm really really bug with my stomach but first thing in the morning, I do one digested aid from um, Revive. That's a digestive support. Um, I do a thyroid, uh, boost, thyroid boost essential, new ethics. I know Revive are coming with um, a thyroid support, so I might try this one. But this one, I this is my second one, and I really do feel the difference. Um, after that, I take two of the liver enzyme. I did two of the curcuma also from uh, Revive. 
but I don't have them with me right now. Uh, I take one alpha lipoic acid. I take these twice a day actually. And then one L-carnitine now and then another one later. I also have um, those wild cut uh, advanced omega-3. I take one of those. And then the ZMA, I just put it out because I take it every single night along with 5-HTP. And uh, that's what has been providing me with a good night of sleep. So sleep is so important. Um, I know, you know, I wait, I waited myself at like 6 a.m. this morning and I was on the same weight as when I woke up this morning at 9. So obviously I know that I go to the bathroom and everything, but it really does reduce your cortisol and it really does reduce your water retention. So um, that's why I don't get obsessed with this scale because it's so... Eh. But I see how I feel. To be honest, today, how I look, I look very um, sharp. But it's also because I saw, I put less salt on my food yesterday and I walked a lot. But I think it would be like a 126 or even like 125.8 if it wasn't for me being so inflamed in like my knees and my legs. So I don't know. Like it, it gets sometimes for you to like know that but your body so much, but just you know, for you to understand that the scale is a tool and it's not, you know what it is. So that's that's for um, my little um, vitamin supplement regimen. I do have um, glutamine as well um, in the morning. I put it in my oats actually with my little stevia drop and it doesn't taste anything. And um, yeah, vitamin D are in my bag actually and my gym bag. And then that's it. So I'm gonna eat right now my little eggs, upload the YouTube video, and I'll see you guys for meal number two. All right, so it's now 2.41, it's a little late, but I am at meal number two. So um, I just got caught up with work and everything, but I wanted to show you guys meal number two. So um, we are having just um, that shredded chicken that you saw in my last video that I make with my Instant Pot. So it's just chicken breast that I put the Instant Pot with water and then I just throw it in the microwave with some mixed vegetables. So that's kind of how it looks like. Um, I kept a little bit of broth so that way it keeps the chicken very moist and I'm going to put a bunch of seasoning in it. So uh, today I feel like putting a bit of adobo i'm also gonna put um, a little bit of that za'atar seasoning from uh hold on nah. i'm gonna put i think that's it normally i would have like a big salad and just like put you know uh, sugar-free ketchup and like mustard and all these things but i haven't done groceries yet so that's literally my last chicken and last protein meal that i have i do have some uh frozen shrimp all the time in my um freezer for that chicken i'm gonna do adobo um and i guess like salted pepper since that's basically as basic as it gets and uh for carbs i'm going to have um some brown rice that i cooked yesterday so i have that in that pot what i do is i use those um you know that brown rice that comes into those packets? It's called success. <laughs> so I get those and I boil these. It's like 10 minutes uh, in water. I've done that yesterday. So I'm gonna have a third of a cup of the brown rice and some chicken. And I'll have my rice actually on this side because I can actually enjoy it better. And I like it with a little bit of the everything but, this, uh, but the bagel seasoning. So I'll show you guys that when it's all done. All right, guys, so meal number two is done. I have about two hours now um, before my next meal. So what I do is I eat and the second that I take the last bite of um, food in my mouth, I just start the meter, the, not the meter, how do you call it? The, where? the timer. I start the timer at like three hours. So then I can, it's helping me honestly keeping track of not putting any food in my mouth 
until the chrono is done. And normally when I start getting hungry, well, I'm like, you know, either like 30 minutes before meals, I can just like suck it up or brush my teeth or chew some gum. So now it's raining outside, so it's quite depressive. I was on a mission of get, going to go uh, walk outside and get a Celsius, but I guess we won't do that because it's actually really raining really bad. But um, yeah, so I'll just go to the little gym that we have in our complex and they have this like big room for posing. So I have my backpack with me with like my shoes and oh my God, it's really raining. I really wanted a Celsius though. Um, so yeah, that and then do cardio. I have this pose that I want to make for mental awareness month. So I'm going to try to brainstorm on that while I'm doing my 30 minutes of cardio. It's not a lot of to do. And um, I also took my appointment for massage therapy and a facial. So I'm going to get that um, probably tomorrow. And uh, and the rest of the week, you know, not, not being traveling as much has been helping me a lot. came back, took a quick shower, and I had to grab a couple of things that I'm gonna bring back to the store. So the Cheesecake Factory, which is where I'm going for my steak right now, um, is in the mall. So I'm gonna be able to just return some stuff that I got from H&M and Zara that obviously didn't fit. So I'm gonna head out there now, go eat first, because I am starving. And I'm actually chewing gum right now. This is my only piece of gum that I get a day. And again, I'm trying to limit my consumption of sweeteners right now. So I have one gum a day and one Celsius a day. And that's about it. Uh, same thing with caffeine right now. I have one coffee in the morning. If I don't feel the need to like have more energy, I really try not to get more than one Celsius um, afterwards. And not two or three coffee and espresso and everything. Because I really need the rest. So, um gonna head out right now and i'll see you guys at cheesecake factory <laughs> intimidating to film right now but we're gonna get it done for you guys so I just wanted to show you what I normally bring in my purse so I'm gonna actually go ahead and start with this I'm just waiting on my water right now so I'm gonna take uh, two of the chrome and also one of that digesting aid right now so when I'm ready to order um, I'm already like prepared to eat um, it's already really fast so no bother, no bread, no nothing. I just ordered some water with some slices of lemon and some mint. And I'll show you guys once the plate gets here. So I'm not filming right now. And I can actually call my mom and see how she's doing.
Thank you so much. I have to say no. No. I have to say no. Sad face. I know. I want to cry. Maybe. Oh, maybe I should bring them home though, for a loved one, right? There's no such thing as love language through bread. Exactly. Yeah. Sorry. I work and I eat all day. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Okay. So I have um, the filet mignon dry, um, asparagus, a salad, and then sweet potato fries. So probably bring the salad first. Um, and the asparagus are steamed. <laughs> Can you make them steam? Yeah, they can use them. Bread. Okay. Thank you so, so much, baby. Like dry, no The goal is going to be to not completely trash this food. So I'm going to get the first bite and then I'm going to try to sip some water. Sweet potato fries. Right now, I'm not looking for like the best thing of everything because I'm obviously gonna eat in a little bit. Right now, I just wanna do what's working. So, not that it's not enjoyable, I don't wanna say that, but I also don't want you guys to think that I'm happy eating this. So, that makes sense. Like, I just wanna eat to be my best. And that's how what has been working, but I really don't mind just sticking to tilapia if I have to. But with that being said, I think past couple preps what I've been craving the most is actually protein. I could eat a full pound of ground turkey if I, I could literally. So I'm gonna eat that right now and um, I'll see you guys in for meal number four. You guys just finished my grocery shopping at Publix. Nothing crazy, just a little refill. It's obviously peak week tomorrow. So I got asparagus. I got the chicken that I normally eat. I'm gonna keep that. Not changing to fish or anything so far, but just no like ground turkey or things that I'm not always like 100% digesting well. I got some lettuce as well. As you saw, I got this sugar-free ketchup and the relish just because it was the only one left. So I was like, okay, I just wanna make sure that when I come back, I actually have those. But these are gonna be cut out my diet. Um, I got the last Celsius of the lemonade and strawberry one. So I can't wait to taste that one because I haven't tasted it yet. I did the Arctic one and also the um, the passion mango right now is my favorite. So um, I'm gonna head out home, get my meal number four and show you guys what that is. Oh, 
dele. Agora. I guess so I'm just gonna wrap this video because everybody is already asleep um, everybody wakes up super early here I'm saying everybody because um, Aldo's gonna live with us but um, everybody goes to bed super early because by 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. they start so uh, I really don't want to make it that much noise so what I'm doing right now is my little shrimp stir fry so I actually felt like I wanted a salad and then I changed my mind I actually want a stir fry so it's a lot of vegetables uh, normally I would do it with these spaghetti zero pasta I would do like half a pack of that but um, I'm already full I don't want that kind of like fiber um, to just sit in my stomach um, for tonight at least and so I shredded some zucchini instead some mushrooms and onions and I'm also gonna put a little bit of asparagus saute that um, in the pan with a little bit of a coconut aminos everything with the big old seasoning adobo salt and I will show you guys the result and then I have another meal after that it's just gonna be egg whites so yeah that's about it I hope you guys enjoyed this full day of eating I am a going to head off to bed i'm checking with kim again tomorrow and see what uh, the steak and the fries did to my body and also the rest so i will catch you guys as soon as possible and rid of the water and you put it in a bowl of cold water with ice and that's what's going to make it because it's stuck the cooking completely and they won't be soggy they won't fall into your hand it's still going to eat it even cold and it's really good all right signing up <laughs> 